Hey guys, you're watching because you one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Zonocraft Season 2. And we're on the third part of our caving Q&A here. I don't think I've ever done a three-part caving Q&A before. I think there's only ever been two parts. But it's not my fault. I'm going to blame you guys for having to do three. Because you guys send in too many good questions. There's no, like, bad questions here. And they're all really good, well-thought-out questions that require an answer and it's been really nice it's been a bit of a, a q a week really for us and uh i feel like we've really connected reading um you know the comments over the the past few weeks uh i feel like we're really we're really connecting we've got something special going on here obviously i haven't seen your answers to I, my other q a videos because obviously i'm recording i've recorded all three of these back to back uh from each other uh, i'm sure i'll figure out some sort of footage to go into the background of this video. I haven't figured that out yet. But like normal with my with my Q, uh, cave and Q&As, uh, the video is recorded at a separate time to me uh, speaking. That way I don't worry about creepers and mobs and I can concentrate on caving and I can concentrate on answering your questions to the fullest extent without getting distracted by either one of them. So, the third part. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen the last Q&As, go and watch them because they're great. Absolutely awesome questions. Get to learn a lot about me and I get to learn an awful lot about you, some of you guys as well So the next one uh, will from GMM says uh, will we ever see your fiance in a video? That's all up to her really. She's um, a little bit sort of camera shy a lot of, uh, of of YouTube fiancés and wives and girlfriends start off very shy. I know um uh, from from years ago, B Double O's girlfriend or wife or whatever at the time, fiance, um, was never in videos. And when she was in these vlogs with 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 B Dubs with John, um, he was where um, whenever he pointed the camera at her, she always looked very very awkward, and uh, and, and and you could tell that she wasn't really enjoying like being filmed. And then when they're Sort of just before they had their first kid, or when she got pregnant with her first, with their first kid, um, they done a like a, a a pregnancy reveal video, and she was very comfortable with it, and she really enjoyed it. And uh, obviously, since they've had, our, um, is it Ari, A Ari, Ari, Aria, so their first kid. Since they've had them, uh, they've been doing a lot of videos on his other channel, his sort of vlog channel, uh, with his family. And uh, she's really opened up into herself. In fact, she does her own videos uh, sometimes now, and, and and she's a big part of uh, of the channel. Um, it would be nice if if my fiance, if, if Beth, um, enjoyed that. It, I think it'd be really cool to do some sort of uh, collaboration videos with her. Um, but the only problem is, is she doesn't like Minecraft. She doesn't enjoy Minecraft. She doesn't really see the point in Minecraft. Um, not it's not her type of game. And uh, she's not very camera friendly, but it, it, it's all up to her. Maybe, maybe we'll figure something out that she'll enjoy. I don't know. I don't know. It will be just um, a little bit awkward at first to watch, I think, because obviously she won't be as comfortable with it. It'd be like watching a brand new YouTuber, and uh, they're always awkward, aren't they? When, you, when you're new, it's always awkward to talk and stuff like that. Uh, from uh, Ellie, Ely. I don't know um, if I butchered your name again. I'm sorry. Uh, terrible at reading names. Uh, what would you do when you get too old for YouTube and can't do it anymore? I don't think at the moment. I know people always say this, but I don't think I'll ever get too old for YouTube. And I don't think I'll ever get too old for gaming. I think it's something that I've grown up with and will be and is now the normal the norm for me you know uh, previous generations grew up um with with other things that they enjoy you know my my nan grew up um doing uh cross stitching do you know what i mean that was sort of the the fun thing to do back then was cross stitching because there wasn't games and stuff i suppose then and still you know she still does her cross stitch and so she hasn't grown out of what she used to do as a kid and a young adult um, so I can't see me growing out of what I enjoy doing now. So it's, although it sounds weird to think at the moment that when I'm 60 years old or 70 years old, I'll be playing Call of Duty a million, which will probably be the same as the Call of Duties now because they all, they have all the same games. 
Um, but uh, I, it sounds weird thinking that I'll be like an old man still playing games. But it's not really weird when you think that old people now are doing a lot of the same stuff as what they were doing when they were younger as well. Now, I'm 23. Yeah, I'm 23 at the moment. My birthday's in February, so I'll be 24 in February. Um, and that's definitely not too old to play games. It's definitely not too old to play to, to, to do YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of YouTubers a lot older than me. There's a lot of YouTubers a lot younger than me. There's a lot of people older than me that play games. Um, so I don't think I'll ever get too old to play games, and I don't think that I'll, I'll ever get too old to, uh, to, to watch YouTube. Um, but if... If I got too old, or if something happened, uh, the question is, what would I do? I really don't know, is the truthful answer. I really have no idea. I don't like working for people, which is why, one of the reasons why I do YouTube is because I'm, I'm my own boss. If I want to take tomorrow off, I can take tomorrow off. I don't have to ask anybody. I don't have to get permission. Um, obviously... If I just take tomorrow off, you guys wouldn't have a video. So I have to make sure that if I want to take the next day off, I record that day's videos the day before. So maybe I'll, I'll record like six videos if I wanted to. Uh, if I record six videos, I can then get the next day and the day after off. Because obviously it's like two videos a day, most of the time. Um, so if I record six videos in one day, I, I then get the next two days off. So... Um, I don't like working for, for other people because of the lack of freedom that you have working for someone else. You can't take days off. You can't do what you want. I can take a break whenever I want. You know, I can be halfway through a video if I wanted to. And I cut away to fill in an area, you know, to build a wall, which is boring to do on camera. But if I want, I can stop and I can go and have a drink and I can have a break and I can have something to eat or watch some TV and then come back and, and, and carry on. And you just can't do that in a normal job. So I really don't know. I really don't know what I would do. I'd have to do. I'd have to find something else um, that I could do at home and be my own boss. Something something self-employed like, I don't know, website development or web hosting or some something like that. Something still probably com computer orientated. Hot Dog Vlogs asks, uh, ask AJ Q&A. Uh, I like that. Ask AJ Q and A. When uh, when you started your channel and had no subscribers, what was your motivation? And then in brackets, before you knew that you were getting a job out of it. Um, motivation was waiting for comments. Um, I always when I when I before I recorded videos and uploaded to YouTube, I always used to look at the comments on other people's videos. And I really liked, I mostly enjoyed watching channels that responded to the comments a lot. Um, I didn't, I, I, I don't know why, but like channels that just ignored the comments, I didn't really watch as much. Um, because I felt like that there was no connection. So... Uh, when I started making videos, I probably initially sort of done done videos to get a comment so then I could reply back. Just so I, I could be that person that replies back to someone. Uh, I like, I, I, I really like that sort of, um, that part of it that, um, someone asks me a question, like, like a Q&A, and then I respond to it, or, you know, they say, oh, that was a really cool video. I really appreciate those kind of things, although those comments might look useless, and might, might not, like, do anything for other people watching the video, for the person that makes the video, when someone says, good video, or I enjoyed that video, or thanks for uploading, uh, it, it, it's re I really appreciate it. All YouTubers really appreciate it. So I think my motivation was to get those comments and then to get more of those comments. Do you know what I mean? And now uh, on my videos, I'm so happy on on every video. There's always people that love the video and uh, and ask questions and I get to respond back. Obviously, I can't respond to every single one anymore. But all the ones that um, require an answer, I do try to get an answer to and all the question all the comments are always read I always read all the comments um, but like 
comments that say good video or thank you for the uploading and stuff like that, I don't reply to because there's nothing that I can much reply to. You know, sometimes I'll reply with a smiley face or a thanks or something like that, but they are always read. Uh, your, your questions are always read or your comments are always read. I just don't respond to, to some of them that don't require an answer. Um, but yeah, no, that was that was my motivation. Banjo Bear Gaming asks, what is the weirdest thing that has ever happened to you? I remember when I was younger, we had a caravan in our front garden. And um, I don't know why we had the caravan, but we had a caravan in, our, in, in, in the front garden. And I had a couple of friends over. And uh, we were just chilling out in the in the caravan. It was like a sleepover, you know, have sleepovers when you're younger. And um, we we were it was it was me and two girls, and uh, nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing like like dirty or silly, nothing like that. We were just chilling out uh, in the caravan and and just chatting and listening to music. You know what it's like. And uh, it was about half past two, three o'clock in the morning. I suppose I would have been about. 13 14 maybe at the time about 10 years ago and um it's about half past two in the morning and we get a knock 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 on the door of the caravan and we we sit there for a couple of seconds it felt like ages but it wouldn't have been long and we said is it my parents? Uh, is the music too loud? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe the music's a little bit too loud, and and the music's coming out of the caravan, and they can hear it in the house, and they're trying to go to sleep. You know, it's half past two in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. Ah, uh, you know, maybe, maybe it's that, or maybe they can see the light on in the caravan, and they're going to come and tell us to go to bed because you know that's what that's you know uh, too late. You don't want to be too late to bed. So uh, I open the door, and no joke. Standing in the doorway is a military man, a big six and a half foot tall, built, he was like huge, in desert camouflage, so not, not the green camouflage, but in like the, the whitey, creamy, yellowy sort of camouflage with a pistol holstered and a rifle on his back. And a a a um, uh, ammo belt, and uh, a, a belt with knives, and um, like a little medical pouch. And he had the trou the combat trousers with all the pockets on. He had the military boots on. He had a military hat on. Um, it, all 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 desert camouflage. And he says, "Help me." I need help. And we sort of look, and I sort of look to the my, the two girls in the caravan. I'm like, what? what is this? I live, if you don't know, I live in the middle of nowhere. Like, like the, 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 the middle of nowhere. I have, like, no neighbours. There, there, there's no shops. There's no bus stops. There's, there's nothing around me. I'm, like, in the middle of a bunch of fields. And I'm like, where? Where's he come from? And I'm a little bit scared. You know, I'm like 13, 14 years old, if that. And there's a guy standing in front of me with a bunch of guns and knives asking for help. And I said, what do you need help? He said, I'm being chased. I'm being chased and I need help. I said, who's chasing you? He said, I haven't got time. He says, I need help. So now... Um, I'm sort of thinking that this guy's crazy. I'm thinking he's a little bit of a, like a nut job guy. Do you know what I mean? Where he come from, I, I, I will never know. And, uh, so, so my first thought is, right, get, get this crazy madman away from my two friends, away from the girls. Uh, so I said, all right, come with me. So anyway, I walked, uh, walk, walked from the caravan to my back door of my, of my house I'm in now. And I walk in there, and I had a uh, a big dog at the time. Big, big dog. He was about, if he stood on your shoulders, the dog would be about seven foot tall. Uh, he was a Great Dane crossed with a Cane Corsa. He was, uh, which is like the one of the tallest dogs in the world, 
crossed with one of the most muscliest dogs in the world. And obviously Dudley, he, he was called Dudley at the time, and uh, he, he saw him and he just stood there watching this army guy. And my, my parents are in bed, my mum and dad's in bed. And I said, wait there. I said, don't move, stay there. Anyway, the dog's watching him. So I go upstairs and I go into my parents' room who are fast asleep. And I wake them up and I say, hey, psst, wake up, wake up. Uh, and they sort, of, they sort of wake up. And I say, there's a there's a man downstairs in full um, army camouflage, military kit, asking for help. He's being chased. Instantly, mum and dad jump out of bed and come downstairs because, like, this guy's crazy. Do you know what I mean? This guy's nuts. There's no war going on around here. There's... There's no, there's no chance at all that he was a legit military guy. For one, a military man wouldn't, wouldn't ask for help like that. They, 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 they're smarter than that. They, they figure out things by themselves. You know, that's the whole, the whole point of them. They're very mentally strong, mentally amazing people. And uh, it, it, it's not, you know, it, it, he's a madman and a madman with probably real guns. I don't know if they were real or not. I will never know. Um, but you don't, you don't ask him, you, or you don't, you don't test it, do you? You don't, you don't want to find out if they're real or not. Oh, fly just flew past. Um, so they shoot downstairs, and my mum says, right, come on then. So my mum, uh, takes him into her car with Dudley, the big dog, and, uh, put, puts him in the car, and she drives him to the nearest fuel station, and... Obviously, I go back into the caravan, talk to the girls, and uh, apparently on the way to the nearest fuel station, the guy goes to his pocket and pull, pulls out a phone, a mobile phone, and calls his calls his mate. And you, she she dropped she did she didn't say nothing. She dropped him off uh, at this at the nearest petrol station to us, which is about ten miles away, and uh, and turned around and come back. And you think. This guy come round someone's house that he doesn't know and spoke to a child asking for help in military gear because he's being chased. He wanted help because he was being chased. And then when he's being taken somewhere, he gets his mobile phone out and makes a call. Why didn't he make a call first? He was nuts. He must have been crazy. He was probably a very dangerous, very nuts man. Um that we got very very lucky with um i don't know i never heard anything from him since uh, luckily uh but yeah that's probably the craziest weirdest thing that sort of ever happened to me anyway that took up a lot of time uh it's a good story though i thought it was a good story uh miles loader asks will you be ask, uh, asking for another supercar driving experience at christmas would love to see another video of it i love that that was so awesome that was really really great fun i'm glad you enjoyed the video uh miles um i would i would love to do it again i would love to do it again uh there are other experience days that you can do there's there's hundreds of different infinite amount of, of other experiences that you can do um my mum was recently talking about a rally day one in rally cars uh that would be pretty cool sort of off-road style rally driving uh yeah that, that would be cool i would do it again for sure 100 percent um and i would do other experience days as well because they are really really fun they're, they're pretty decent for the um uh, for the price as well. Uh, where are we? Um, Electronic Monkey says, Q and A. Uh, will you ever start City Skylines again? Keep up the amazing work, AJ. Thank you. Um, City Skylines series. I love that series. It's such fun. Such a fun series. It was such a fun game. It is such a fun game. Um, what made it fun, even more fun or funner, was the mods, you know, um, all the assets and stuff like that, new buildings and new stuff, new landmarks. Um, the, the mods made it such uh, a more fuller game, much more better experience to play, a much more realistic city could be built with the mods. However, the mods, uh, I, I, I was downloading so many cool mods that I loved and it made my computer it made the game run so slowly in fact the loading times got longer and longer every time that i saved the game so i would do an episode i would save and quit the game and then in a couple of days time to record the next episode i would load up the game again and it would take 10 minutes to load and then the next time i opened the game up it would take 20 minutes and then it eventually got that i had to load up the game and then wait 
an hour and a half or two hours for the game to load and then I could play the game. The game worked pretty well. It didn't, you know, there was a little bit of stuttering here and there and a little bit of frame drops, but it would work, you know, acceptably. Um, but then eventually it got to a point where the game just wouldn't load or it would take too long to load, which is why the series stopped. Otherwise, the series would never have stopped. I, I would start it up again 100% if I had a better computer that could sort of handle all of that kind of stuff a lot, a lot easier, e easier, easier. So yeah, I would. HTV Gaming asks, Zono, have you any tips for starting YouTube? Two tips. Number one, go and watch the video that I uploaded recently at the first of the month about copyright. Um, I see a lot of people, a lot of subscribers ask me to watch the videos, which I don't mind, and I'll do. Um, but uh, a lot of them have copyright stuff on them and uh, copyrighted music, copyrighted video, it'll get you in trouble. And I, I don't want people to get strikes. I don't want people to get, get their channels taken down. So first tip, know the rules. Know the rules and the laws of YouTube and just online or just the world in general, you know, as far as copyright goes. Number two, only do stuff that you enjoy. Don't record stuff that people want you to do but that you don't enjoy because the viewers know you guys are smart and you know when oh blurry come back where's my why is it gone all blurry there we go oh there we go i don't know if it's been blurry for a long i apologize if it's been blurry for the last couple of minutes i apologize i only just noticed um if you, you guys are smart and you know when a YouTuber isn't enjoying what they're playing or doing. Uh, maybe they're playing sort of a different type of game that is popular, you know, on YouTube, but, uh, but they don't like the game. You can always tell. You can always tell when they don't enjoy the game. And when they don't enjoy the game, you don't enjoy watching. Um, and it's so, it's so easy to tell. So only record stuff that you enjoy. And number three, just stick with it. It's not easy. It's a long, long process before you get anywhere. Um, you know, I'm still a small channel. I'm still a very small channel. Um, but I'm very happy with my channel. I'm very happy with the relationship we have. I'm very happy with what I do and what I record. And um, when I'm not happy with something that I'm doing, I, I stop it. I, you know, sometimes... Um, I haven't done it for a very long time. But sometimes when I'm not happy with a series, I'll just stop the series. And um, I don't enjoy it anymore because if, if you guys start noticing that I'm not enjoying it, then you guys will stop watching me because you I'm not as trustworthy. So you'll only ever see games that I enjoy here on this channel. Okay, uh, and that are appropriate, obviously. Nate asks, uh, when, uh, when you think about YouTube, do you think of it as your job or something you personally enjoy doing? Uh, it's got to the point now where I think of it as both. Obviously, it's always been something that I personally enjoy doing. I, I, I enjoy playing games. I enjoy sharing my gaming experience. And like I said in a previous question, I enjoy the response that I get from you guys. I enjoy the comments and everything like that. Um, but obviously, obviously, recently in the past uh, year or so, um, it's it's got to a point where I can do it as a job. And uh, I can... I don't earn... I don't, I don't earn a lot of money at all. In fact, um, from my channel here, I earn less money than I would if I was working a normal job at the moment. At Christmas time, like last Christmas, um, YouTubers earn more because the adverts that play before uh, the video um, are, are advertising for Christmas gifts and stuff like that. So the advertisers pay more money to get those adverts shown. Um, so, so at Christmas time and just before Christmas last year, I was doing very well. Well, not, not like, not like crazy, crazy money, but I was, I was, um, earning a wage that would be the same as if I was working a, a normal job. So I was very, very happy. Not only did I get to do something that I enjoyed, but I was getting paid the same amount of money that I would be doing, that I'd be getting if I was working a boring job. Um, obviously, after Christmas, January time to now, uh, the uh, although the views have been the same and better, 
uh, as I've gained subscribers and stuff like that, the money has been way, way down. And I don't like to talk about money too much. Not many YouTubers like to talk about money at all, but in this way, in this sort of, um, in, in this manner, I don't mind talking about it. Um, I've been earning very, very, very little. So, hey, basically, I'm not in it for the money, is, is what you could say. I'm not, I'm not in, I don't do this for the money because I don't earn enough to do it in the money ways. Um, at the moment, this month and beyond, the last sort of six months of the of the year, the revenue sort of increases because uh, adverts start paying more and more. But the first six months, the adverts pay very little. So uh, I'm getting to the point again. I expect in a month or two's time um, where I'll be earning a normal amount of money from a normal job uh, amount. But no, I'm not. I'm not in it for the money um, because I don't earn enough to be in it for the money. Uh, Just Blue Gecko asks, uh, Q&A, why did you stop the Hive series, the Hive MC series? Uh, we done f 40 episodes on it. And 40 episodes is a lot. That's like um, 10 episodes a month. That's like four months. It's like 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 a, a, a third of a year. We played that for a third or a quarter, isn't it? Uh, no, a third. Yeah, third of a year. Uh, we played that. And uh, just time to bring it to an end. It, that's all it was. I still enjoyed the the, the Hive um, series. Maybe we'll bring it back. I think that they've changed all of their hide and seek maps now. I think I don't think that they have the same hide and seek maps anymore. I heard a rumor or I saw a tweet or something that they've got some at least some new maps on there. So maybe we'll do some more hide and seek uh, back there. Uh, but no, it was just it was just time had come up. That's all it was. It just the series had come to an end. Um, no other reason. Righteous Squirrel, right, Righteous Squirrel Tile, sorry, asks, if it's too personal, then you don't have to answer it in the cave and Q&A, but when is your wedding? We don't know. It might be next year. It'd be, it'd be nice to be next year, 2017 sometime. Um, it might be the year after. We have no real plan for it. Weddings are very expensive. Obviously, as you've just heard, uh, I don't earn uh, uh, a poodie pie amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> or anything stupid like that. Um, I earn very little money, so I, I, it's a very expensive thing, a wedding. Um, and uh, we're, we're sort of happy. Happy being engaged. Obviously, wedding will come eventually, but there's no there's no real rush for it. But next year or the year after. Probably, probably next year, though. Mr. Killer asks, uh, Hey, uh, can you answer this question? How can I generate endemites in my world? Uh, okay. Easy question. This is a Minecraft-related question, <laughs> not really a Q&A sort of one, but no, I'll answer it. Um, you should eventually be able to, uh, when Endermen teleport, they should have, I think it's a 20% chance or something, of leaving an Endermite when they teleport. And it works on the PC when an Endermite teleports, there's a 20% chance of an Endermite spawning. However, at least on Xbox One, I, don't, I haven't tested it on 360, and obviously I don't play the PlayStation versions. I've got PlayStation but 3 and 4, but I don't have Minecraft on them. Um, but on the Xbox One version, currently, at least, when Endermen teleport, they don't... Is it that way around? They don't drop the Enderpearl? How did I do it on mine? The other way is Enderpearls themselves... When you throw an ender pearl at the ground, there's a 10% chance or a 5% chance that it'll spawn an endermite. Is it that way around that I done or the other way around? I can't remember what way around it was. One of the ways work. They both they both should work, but one of the ways work on console at the moment. How did I get it on mine? No, I done it with the ender pearls. I threw ender pearls and got the endermites. That's how I done it. So throw ender pearls at the ground. And eventually you'll get an endermite pop up. The true person, this Q&A is the longest of them all. The, the true person asks, Q&A, what do you think you're going to do for 100,000 subscribers? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe you guys can, can let me know. It's a little way away, yep. Um, I, I have no idea, though. Um, I'd like to do something... I'd like to do something that's meaningful to you guys, is what I would like to do. Um... Obviously, it's a really cool number, but it is just a number. It means a lot to me, but I would like to do something for you guys, because without the 100,000 of you guys, that number wouldn't exist. 
So maybe you guys can can um, can answer that one for me. And the lazy owl final question. It's a big question, unfortunately, for the last one. AJ, how do you get paid doing you? How do you get paid doing YouTube? Okay, this is a question that could have like twelve videos uh, about it. But let's do a condensed down version. Number one, you make a video. You then upload the video. People watch the video, and for uh, if you have monetization, it's called monetization. If you've got it enabled on your channel, uh, it means adverts will then play on the video. When adverts are play on the video, every one thousand adverts that are shown, you get paid for, and that's called CPM. I think it's a cost per mil is what it stands for, but it's not million, it's thousand. So every 1,000 adverts that are shown, you get paid a certain amount. Now, the amount that you get paid for per 1,000 views can vary. There is no specific number, which is why no YouTuber has ever said, because there isn't a number. Um, it depends on multiple things. It depends on the time of year, like I sort of covered a little bit earlier in this video. Obviously, towards Christmas, you get paid more per 1,000 advert views because it's Christmas adverts. But in February, you get paid, like, nothing because all the advertisement companies have spent all their money on advertising at Christmas. So after Christmas, they have no money to advertise with and they know that nobody watching has any money because they spent all their money at Christmas. So there's no point spending too much money on advertising. So it can vary from 20 cents. 20 cents per 1,000 views up to $7 per 1,000 views. Um, you don't... I don't know anybody that's ever got anywhere near that. Um, it also depends on the length of the video. Uh, within, I think, uh, for about two years now, the in general, the longer the video, the more you get paid. But it also depends on something called audience retention, which means uh, when you guys watch a video, if you like watch the first like ten seconds or the first minute and then back out and it's a 30 minute long video, that's like 1% of the video watched. But if you get 15 minutes through the video, and it's a 30 minute video in total, that means you've watched 50% of the video. And if you watch the whole thing, then you watched 100% of the video. And if you watch the whole video and then go back and watch the half of it again, that's 150, which can happen, 150% of audience retention. The better audience retention that you have, the more that you can get paid as well. This fly is still about. And um, I think there's some other things that that can change it as well. But there's no, there's no specific number. So once you've got uh, uh, a video that has adverts playing on them, you shall start to accumulate money through a thing called Google AdSense which is what YouTube use to pay YouTubers. Uh, it's like a, like, a, like a website like PayPal. It's very much like PayPal. And all the money gets put into Google AdSense. And then at the end of the month, they pay you. I get paid straight into my bank account. Uh, but you can get paid via a check uh, as well, depending on the country. Some countries here in the UK, we can get paid straight into our bank account. Some countries have to have a check sent to them. Um, and yeah, that, that, that's the sort of simplest form that I can put it in. Upload a video, um, monetize the video, which means put ads on it. Uh, the money, the, the views then equal money that gets put into Google AdSense. And that is linked to your bank account. You have to be over 18 um, to do it because you obviously you need a bank account and stuff like that. And I think you need to be over 18 because it's like contracts that you need to sign. And uh, and that's it. It gets a little bit more complicated when you bring networks and stuff into it, like um, uh, Maker Studios or Machinima or Curse and stuff like that. I haven't been in a network. I used to be in Curse. For, I was in Curse for a year, and I haven't been with Curse since um, January. Since January this year, I haven't been with a network. I don't need a network, so uh, I don't have that. So it takes out a load of complicated stuff because networks can take a percentage, 10, 20, 30, 50% of your earnings 
um, for doing what they do, which is nothing. So that's why I left. So yeah, that's going to do it. Eventually, we've got through the cave and Q&A. I apologize in a way that it's taken three episodes. And I apologize in a way that this is a 35-minute video or however long it's going to be. Um, but uh, you guys just come up with so many really, really good, amazing questions that need to be answered. And I don't want to let anybody down. So it was great fun. I think I learned... I think hopefully you guys learned a lot about me. I learned a little bit about you. And I shall learn a lot more about you when these videos then go out for you guys to watch. So then I can respond to the comments. And I get to learn a little bit about, more about you as well. We shall see you guys in the next video. We'll be back to normal Zonocraft stuff then.